Okay, so as we're pulling up to show you what we did to the van, the batteries and my camera went dead. So I had to charge that, and here we are. It's another day. Uh, so, dun, 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 drum roll. Ta da! Subtle. Yeah. Very subtle. Yep. There you have it. And obviously it's on both sides, but we'll show you the other side. Yep. Big shout out to Ken at Newport Signs in Newport, Oregon for doing it. He did all the artwork. Mm -hmm. Irene just gave him a picture of what she wanted, kind of an idea of some mountain scenery, and then he actually drew it and put it in the trees and the birds and the, the sunspots. And he did an amazing job. And you don't realize, so this is a wrap. This is not One paint. piece wrap. Yeah, one piece wrap. There's so much to cut around here. This and the awning All these plants. separate. Yeah, all these are separate. I watched, I watched him start, and it's basically one sheet. Then he just slowly works down and cuts the pieces. And yeah. Anyway, did a great job. It, it's an artwork is what it is to get that on there. Anyway, so this is the morning of the big eclipse. And um, we were expecting, like, mass gridlock and all the emergency service people were saying, you know, all the local people stock up and stay home because it's going to be crazy. And guess what? There's nobody. I mean, it's not crazy at all. I think the weather forecast chased everyone away and canceled their hotels. But to bring off over this is the sky we had. No, it's supposed to, like, make landfall in less than two hours, but it's pretty foggy. Yeah, we're parked at a friend's house just just outside of Newport. And, and for those of you who don't know, the, the eclipse moves across the country. It starts in Lincoln County, Oregon, and that's where we're at. So we're at where it first hits landfall is where we are. So we're hoping to get some uh, good, clear skies so we can actually watch this event. And We'll try and film, maybe, if we can actually see it, but we don't know what we're doing with the camera and so forth, so we'll just see what we get, and we'll see if we can even see the sun, but it is going to get dark for about a minute and a half. Yeah. It'll be almost like night. We'll take a nap. I mean, yeah, they say the animals start <laughs> acting weird, and the chickens go to roost, so I'm going to well, go well, take a nap. You watch, the, you watch the eclipse, I'll watch Pistol. Okay. <laughs> Pistol girl, where are you? Hi. You look so sad. She's tired. Why are we up so early? Yeah. All right, let's see about this eclipse business. So we're queued up at our friend's place um, right on the bay, and we are going to scope out this eclipse. It's pretty are foggy. I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good look for you. It's so just starting. To just starting. It's going to, it's going to, it's like a two hour process, full totality in like uh, an hour and 10 minutes. So we're just gonna try and film and show you what it's like throughout the whole process. We'll we even, have no idea if that's gonna work. We'll even uh, put a lens on the GoPro. Yeah, we're gonna take one of these um, out of the glasses and tape it to the GoPro lens. So we'll Safe see that for direct solar viewing. Yeah, we'll There's see what works. So I put uh, a lens over it and pointed it towards the sun so just at the start of the eclipse so I'll try and do that just every so often just kind of a little bit more of that moon blocking out the sun but those are totally you <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see I can't see anything <laughs> cool. pretty cool They say the temperature drops. It's dropped at least five degrees. Yeah. And it's, it's not cold. It's starting to get darker out. We can tell that. <laughs> and what? How far away are we from totality? Like Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes away from complete coverage of the sun. So. It looks like the thumbnail 
Sorry. My camera doesn't pick it up. Put this lens on and just see what happens. Uh, is this a red ball? Look. Huh. I'm not gonna show it. The other one's not gonna show it. So I'm assuming. Well, hopefully, you live someplace where you can watch this. It's. I think we get about a minute and a half of total. Yeah. Dark. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of weird. Crazy. Cool. Cool. Epic. That was pretty awesome. Now I know the footage, the cameras probably didn't pick up much of anything of the actual sun, but let me just tell you it was cool. Um Yeah, it got really cold. Got, well it was we were right on the coast and a uh, pretty good fog bank just Oh, just not far from us. The whole beach area was fogged in, but we were just out of the fog, so it was clear skies. But it was still that cold, foggy. It was maybe 59 degrees, but it dropped down to, I would say, 50 or below. Just Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It, it was cold. cold. And then as it was getting dark, um, it was a weird amber kind of lighting. It's very eerie. The sea lions were barking like crazy, and that's... the birds were a little confused. Pistol was just cold, <laughs> like mama. Yeah. So the plan is, I'm helping out at the shop today, and then we are rolling out of here. So it's gonna be a lot of exciting new things we have not seen before. Pretty pumped. Yeah, we've been into Canada, just above um, northwest Montana, just maybe 10 miles into Canada, and then we kind of skirted the border and dropped back into Washington. So that's all we've seen. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to probably head up somewhere into British Columbia, and then then it's eastbound through all new country for us. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. Loaded up and vanning. Loaded up and vanning. Something like that. We're gonna do whatever we want to. You have to write a song with your ukulele. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll work on that. So, yeah. That was the eclipse, and that was, that's a wrap. All right. See bye. you guys later.